Well, thanks for staying with us tonight on Business Life. The Ghana Union of Traders Association has descended on the Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagwin, for announcing that Nigerian traders will be exempted from the $1 million minimum capital requirement under the GIPC Act. Addressing the media, President of Guta, Dr. Joseph Obain, described the review as retrogressive and a slap on the faces of Ghana's uh, traders. Now, we we'll hear from him in a bit, but first, the Speaker of Parliament, uh, what he said when he addressed the Nigerian House of Representatives recently. I am particularly glad to indicate that they are with me on this trip and are ready to engage with their counterparts towards realizing the intentions expressed in the Act. The communique of 31st May 2021 meeting suggested in part a ring fencing of some of the tony requirements of the Ghana Investment Promotion Center Act 2013. This was a laudable suggestion. Of particular mention in this regard is the reconsideration of the one million United States dollar minimum capital requirement for trading enterprises under Section 28.2 of the Act. This is to facilitate regularization of the businesses of the affected Nigerian retail traders in the trade impasse. Equally commendable is a special concession to be applied to the requirement for the payment of 0.5% stamp duty on the capital investment required by both the Ghana Investment Promotion Center and the Registrar General's Department in respect of investment by foreign nationals. Well, that's the announcement. The Ghana Union of Traders Association is not taking lightly. At a press conference today, they said they would go all out to resist the move to exempt Nigerian traders from the $1 million minimum capital requirement under the GIPC Act. President of the union, uh, Dr. Joseph Obing, said they would protest if they have to, to preserve the retail trade sector. What all Ghanaians need to know is that this law has lived through successive parliaments and has even been enhanced in 2013, showing how very important it is. And ladies and gentlemen, I want to repeat, it is important for us to let the whole world to know that apart from Nigeria, no other ECOWAS member states, including Ghana, has prohibited any list of products under the ECOWAS trade liberalization schemes, ETLS. So we will not accept the use of the Nigerian prohibition list as a leverage to seek amendment of our sovereign law. It is totally unjust, unacceptable, and simply bullish in every sense of the words. Ladies and gentlemen, it should not be said that the eighth parliament of the fourth republic of Ghana, under the headship of Right Honorable Aban S.K. Babin represented themselves without any regard for the concerns of the citizens and imposed retrogressive amendment of the GIPC law to please other nations rather than Ghanaians who are losing their means of livelihood and employment. In view of all the aforementioned we will not accept the use of the Nigerian prohibition list as a leverage to seek amendment of our sovereign law. It is totally unjust, unacceptable, and simply bullish. We will prepare against any eventuality if we are left with no option than to take our destiny into our own hands and protect what it is legitimately ours as a sovereign people of Ghana.